So the textile operation at Mulberry Row is really pretty advanced, and that's surprising. Jefferson had imported the very latest technology. There was a spinning jenny, more than one as a matter of fact, and a flying shuttle loom. Jefferson wants to produce cloth for his enslaved workers. Towards the end of his life especially, his financial condition is starting to bite, and he's, he's been forced to buy cloth previously. But this new technology will allow him to produce several hundred yards of cloth per year for his enslaved workers. It's not a quiet place, it's humming. You could imagine that weavers like Mary Hearn are constantly using their entire bodies to make this all happen, to work the mechanism of the loom. And uh, somebody else like Frisha Hearn is using the spinning jenny, so there are 24 spindles humming at the same time. It was not like a modern factory, but it was this in-between place that's been lost to time. And one of my ideas for building the spinning jenny was to really tr try to recreate that place and appreciate the people who work there. What was it really like to operate a spinning jenny? And what did that mean for the people who spent their lives on Mulberry Row? You know, and, and all of this, all of these pieces of the textile operation on Mulberry Row are, are part of this larger piece of technology. And these people, uh, though enslaved on Mulberry Row, are, are part of what drives this country and the world to a very, very different place where we are today.